they said they want you to play the father of uh, George Costanza on Seinfeld. I said, who's Seinfeld? They said, don't you know? I said, no. It's a very funny show. It's on the air right now. Well, I'm in a Broadway play. I'm about to rehearse. I pass. What? I pass. I don't want to do it. I, I gave it. Six months later, they called me again because the show closed. I went out there and I met Larry David and I met the, the people involved, the writers and our friend uh, Jerry Seinfeld. And, and, uh, the, and uh, they said, uh, Larry said, I want you to know something. Uh, the guy who's playing the part right now, he's a very good actor, he's won some awards, but we need somebody uh, a little different than what he is. And the other thing he says, I want you to understand, you're working with a lady who screams a lot. She's very loud, she's obstreperous, hollers a lot. She's going to talk like that, you know? And I want you to play it down. It's, it's like a, you know, a little milk toast. So the cat contrast would be very funny. The other thing he said, you're playing this fellow, uh, Jason Alexander, he, he's bald. I want you to wear a bald wig. I said, okay, fine and dandy. So we started rehearsing this first show, and she's screaming at me all the time, and I'm kind of taking it. Well, I said to myself, in, I'm going to get fired the same way as the other guy because nothing's happening on the stage. So just before we shot the, the final uh, dress rehearsal before going on the air with the live audience, she started screaming at me again. And I just, out of instinct or whatever, she said, you are the one who ruined his life. You were never there for him. You were an absentee father. Instead of just saying my lines, I said, you are the one who slept in bed with him. You made sandwiches him every day of the night. You cuddle him. You turn him into a, 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 a dependent. Well, everybody started screaming, laughing. And Larry David said, uh, yeah, yeah, that's Jerry, keep it that way. And at that point, Estelle Harris said, wait a minute, I, I'm changing the story here. At that point, George, Jason said to me, Jerry, don't be afraid to hit me. I said, what? He says, don't be afraid to hit me. I said, what do you mean hit you? You're my son. You're 35 years old. He says, just do that. So he said, Dad, can I have the keys to the car? I got, wham! I gave him this whack. And there was screams, laughter. And Estelle Harris said, can I hit him too? And Larry David said, Estelle, only one person can hit Jason at a time. And that was the beginning of Frank Costanza. Uh, we established the guy. Then, of course, get rid of the wig. Just leave your hair flow the way it did. And uh, the relationship with myself and Estelle and Jason and Michael uh, Richards uh, and Julia Louis, and it, it all blew up in, in such a wonderful way. And uh, Jerry Seinfeld was always there in a, in a very encouraging way. I must say, he used to break up and laugh. You watch him on the screen, he's always breaking up. You see his face always breaking up. And that was one of the reasons I think the show was successful, that we weren't uh, we weren't thinking of our next line. We were just listening to each other. And uh, we liked each other in a very, very big way. We just made each other laugh. It, it was special.